today's video. We are vlogging today and this is a little different. We're starting this vlog at night time. It is coming up on five o'clock. We're heading out and we're going to our pastor's house because they have a group every Wednesday night and today they have like a little guest speaker and she's specifically talking about witchcraft. So that sounds super interesting to me. Halloween was yesterday. We do not celebrate Halloween and in particular because of witchcraft and I do not want to align myself with basically the holiday of the enemy. So I thought it would be interesting to take you guys with, see what she has to say and maybe I can like recap most of it tomorrow. But we are taking Legend with us. We haven't left the house with him near his bedtime before. So, well, in the past when he was a newborn and was just like not on a schedule at all we did. But he's on a schedule now and he typically goes to bed around 7.30 for the night. Um, and this boy is sleeping 12 hours, which is amazing. He does wake up a couple times in there to eat, but yeah. So we'll see how it goes <laughs> taking him out of the house. I'm going to bring his like swaddle and our baby monitor in case we can like put him down in one of her rooms there um, because it doesn't start till seven o'clock, which is right before his bedtime or maybe we'll get really, he might be tired enough where he'll actually sleep on us during it, which hasn't happened in so long. In so long, I mean like a month, but I feel like he used to sleep on us all the time. So yeah, but that's our plans for tonight. Okay, we came down early because Kyle had to deposit a check, but it turns out they were closed. So we have some time to kill, so we're gonna go into Home Depot and look at the Christmas trees. We're just gonna go look. And Kyle says we're just gonna go look. We're just gonna if you go guys look have seen the us. viral Christmas tree on TikTok, that's the one I want. Just it's just insane that it's almost $400. So I'm um, really having a hard sell on Kyle on this one. Plus, I think they're probably already sold out, but we'll see what they have. Is it? I mean, I'm looking at the other ones and it's not wowing me. I know, I feel like it looks way better in the video. Like it's really not wild. But it's kind of cool when it's blurred in the video. It looks really good. Well, so do all the other trees. <laughs> Legend, what do you think of that? Santa's not real. Aloha. Only Jesus is. <laughs> wow. The only thing. He's staring right at me. The only thing Legend. This is the sleeper. This is the one. That should be trending right now. <laughs> it's it's short. It's only 6.5. Our place can't really fit. That's why. Well, it can fit height-wise, but yeah, I could fit height. But yeah, that's a pretty good price for a tree. But I just am afraid that I'm gonna get over the flocked look. Like I don't know if I really like that. I kind of like the classic green now. You like that? Three years ago when we knew each other. I know, but I think it's too trendy. No, the Grand Duchess is too trendy. That is the it's a classic. That is the ultimate definition of trendy walk. What about this one? What about it? There are always familiar spirits in our lives, saints of God. They're like dark shadows that follow you. Um, if you are here today and you're using drugs, if you're smoking marijuana, just because it's permissible doesn't mean it's beneficial. Amen? Nor does it honor God. Now is the time to repent. A repentant heart cannot be a self-deceived heart. Amen? The door is the door of witchcraft. 1 Samuel 15, 32 tells us, For rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. And, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Stubbornness and idolatry are twins in the realm of the spirit. In Galatians 5.20, witchcraft is named as the work of the flesh. Okay? However, when we allow witchcraft to rule our carnal nature, we then open a door to the spirit of witchcraft. 
which is a demonic power. Witchcraft works prim primarily through rebellion and disobedient, disobedience, which then opens the door to the spirit of manipulation and domination. Before I get into the next clip, which was the next morning, I realized I didn't even explain to you my takeaways um, from the night where she was talking about witchcraft. So I thought I would just share. She talked about a ton of stuff, but I feel like the most helpful thing to share would be how we open doors to demonic spirits. So as Christians, I don't believe it's possible to be possessed by a demon, just to make that clear. But, but I do know that our battle is much more in the spiritual realm than we think it is, especially in America. I feel like we don't realize that a lot. I've been watching a ton of testimonies of people who were Satanists, who were witches and all this stuff. And I think it just really opens you up to how much is going on in the spiritual realm. Um, and therefore there are ways that we can open ourselves up to like demonic spirits if we um, open ourselves up to sin essentially. So let me just go through the list. Okay, the first door is jealousy, second disobedience, rebellion, an unrepentant sin, a willful, a willful or ignorant sin, temptation, intrusion, which would be um, like any fantasy, dreams, or ungodly thoughts, unbridled imagination. I think that is like imagining. Um, I think that's very similar to intrusion. I'm not exactly sure what that unbridled imagination is, but maybe just kind of like imagining that everything should be better. Um, and that just opens up a lot of doors to like, oh, well my marriage should look like this. You know, sex should look like how they portray it in the movies. So, and just like imagining your life that way, I'm pretty sure is what she means by that. Another doorway would be unforgiveness. Fear, anger, you must repent of anger, trauma um, can open up, and I've definitely experienced that. Um, ungodly vows or oaths, word curses, um, so negative or bitter root judgments on others means we are subject to God's judgment. Um, occult involvement, generational curses, shame, footholds, strongholds and also like what you listen to, watch, basically anything you let in to your ears or eyes. Um, those are all doorways. So for example, watching a horror movie um, is basically giving the devil permission to enter into your life. So what we watch is really important. That was one thing I immediately changed after listening to that was we were watching this show and Honestly, I think it is kind of based on like maybe the like what happens in Revelations and the Rapture. Um, but there was a lot of portrayal of evil in it. And so I was like, okay, we cannot watch this show anymore um, because I'm basically giving the enemy permission to enter into our house, into our marriage by having this on i feel like another thing i've been convicted about is certain books especially in the fantasy realm um i think a lot of those talk about witchcraft i just started one and it's i didn't know exactly what it was about but after i started reading it it's about witches it's about demons and so i am going to stop reading that one <laughs> um so yeah just all these things are really important um and yeah, so those were the doorways that she talked about. I felt like that was the most important takeaway um, for that. But let's get into the rest of the video. Out. Eight 30 minute workouts. The data didn't lie. But isn't weight loss or gain as simple as calories in and calories out? It's attractive and its mental models, pulled from a variety of disciplines, are what will separate you from the inside. So while it's true that I wouldn't have looked great in the fancy clothes. Morning. It is the next day and I have my gardening class today. So this is a program I signed up for and I think it spans over four months and it's like every other week we come in. And it's at a local like farm 
and she's known for growing flowers, but she also knows how to grow a lot of other stuff. Oh my goodness, I see my bed from over here and it looks like things grew so much. So she was really sweet to put on this event for everybody um, where we can all learn how to start a garden from scratch. And she gets kind of like really in depth with everything and it's been amazing so far. So I'm excited to take what I learn and apply it someday. <laughs> Haven't started my own garden yet, but I mean, definitely am learning a lot. So I just have my greens. I'm listening to the four hour body. And we can talk about that later. Once I listen to more, I'll give you my thoughts. Here is my garden bed. <laughs> I guess and today we planted some more um, we plant we transferred some seedlings into our in-ground bed so she's teaching us how to start an raised bed and an in-ground bed which I think is really cool so we can learn both um, where I'm living now I'll probably only be able to do a raised bed but I'll probably start it maybe after the class is over and I kind of want to start growing my own things. Um, I just took some before photos. I am reading the four hour body. It is definitely a little bit more strict than I was expecting. Um, it's pretty strict diet and everything. So I probably won't do that, but I will be taking bits and pieces of the advice that he recommends. Um, so maybe we'll start a Get Healthy With Me series again. But I got a really exciting package from Gap. I ordered our family Christmas pajamas and I accidentally put in two orders. I have to return one of these. These for Kyle. Should have him try them on. You got these for me, which have like the same pattern as him, but it's kind of like a um, Almost like a quilted look. A onesie for legend. These are quite warm though. Cute. So this one matches. It'll match both of us, but there's the looks. I got this little fleece onesie and it has all these cute little bears on it. And little bears' feet but it's very warm so I would probably only use this while we're traveling for the holidays so I'm like should I keep it? I don't know but it is very cute. And then I also ordered this like striped red pajama but I didn't realize that these were all fleece because it looked a little bit lighter weight in the photo but it's too hot here to have another set of fleece pajamas. So definitely gonna return this and then I just need to try on the other pajamas and make sure they fit. All right, these are them on. I got an XL and I actually do like the way the top fits. The bottoms are a little bit Loose Christmas swag.
ran from the future again. Um, also realized I didn't explain to you what was happening this morning. So we ended up going to a mother's group. They do that at our church. It's like a once a month and it's a mother's gathering. So mothers of all ages come and our pastor, pastor's wife has a message for us. And then Kyle, because he is the children's and family minister he like provides child care for all the kids um so we went to that um and then afterwards i met with the lady who did the speech on witchcraft and everything because she um i was asking my pastor just about deliverance in particular and he does deliverance um and that lady especially she has the gift of discerning spirits and so she is also a great person to go to for deliverance. Um, so after the woman's gathering, I went with my pastor and Katrina is the lady's name and we got, or I got prayer <laughs> for deliverance. I just feel like for a long time I felt oppression from demonic spirits. Um, I also have participated in a lot of witchcraft in my past. I used to, I went to a psychic once. I had tarot cards and I would play with those. I used to do things with crystals, full moon, all that stuff. And so I knew I had opened a lot of doors to spirits. Also through my sexual past and all of those things. And I was just having a ton of of dreams about like ex-boyfriends, um, a lot of sexual dreams. Uh, I just felt like I opened myself up to so much but maybe I hadn't really renounced and like taken back authority in all those areas. And so we basically all just sat in a room, we prayed, and then I would explain all those things I just explained to you and that they would listen and pray and then she just said to start renouncing and breaking off so really just declaring like repenting for what i did so like i repent from witchcraft and i like command the spirit associated with that to fall off of me you have no authority i'm covered by the blood of jesus and then she and my pastor would just listen to the spirit and see if there was anything else that they were hearing or, you know, a specific thing I needed to call out. I talked about and yeah, that was kind of the process um, of deliverance. I didn't have, I know I definitely was being oppressed by many spirits, I think, but I didn't have anything manifest. So you may see like, I don't know, in a church maybe, like if there, someone's getting prayed for, you might see a spirit manifest, which could look like somebody, like the demon yelling or talking or doing something crazy or um, you may feel something, I don't know, I've never experienced it. Um, but none of that happened for me, personally. And uh, she just said in the spiritual realm, things are coming off and they might not it might not feel any different but things were shifting so anyways that was my first experience well i think i've done very similar things in the past also breaking off soul ties from anyone i had sexual relationships with was also a huge thing especially with the the dreams um so just doing that hi um which I also just saw this thing on TikTok where um, she mentioned that like you should look around the, your house to get rid of certain items that the Holy Spirit highlight, highlights you. And um, she had mentioned deleting text messages from um, exes or anyone who you could like have a soul tie to and I didn't even think about that because I never delete my text messages I have text messages probably from five years ago still on my phone so that's another thing I'm gonna do is go through my phone and delete all the text messages she also said delete any photos you have with um, exes things like that so hopefully all of this helps <laughs> the dreams it definitely it's been like a week since then and I will say there has been a difference and it's just important to pray every night before I go to sleep and continue to seek just freedom and not open any more doors um, for these spirits. 
But in case you were curious about my deliverance experience, that was that. If you guys have a deliverance experience, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about or it sounds scary, it's not. It's just our our world is... <laughs> it's just... It's a spiritual world because God is spiritual. And there's so much happening in the spiritual realm that we cannot see. But it's happening. So I think it's important maybe not to be like obsessed with that stuff. But I think it's really important to at least educate ourselves on it and be aware of it so we know how to fight. Because I think a lot of Christians, at least in America, only know how to fight with fight in the flesh with their words, you know, with their actions, but not in the spirit through prayer. So anyway, and that lady had so many crazy testimonies. Um, anyway, so that's what we were doing that morning. And then we went to go pick up the furniture, which I will show you next. All right. We stopped at the port to pick up this new couch. And I also got a chair for the patio. I'm going to help him. I'm gonna help you. You're gonna help me? Yeah. Just, you're gonna help me. I'll, you can push one side and I'll hold it. I don't know. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I I'm don't... just gonna manhandle it. Let me set the camera up. <laughs> this thing's huge. Look how big this is. This is not a love seat. This is like a four seater. What do you think? You, no. You stay down. You are not allowed up here. Don't even do it. So I'm working with this company. It's a furniture company that's based in Hawaii. They also have a warehouse in LA too, but it's really hard to get good furniture out here and they um, can deliver right to the port because their warehouse is on Oahu. So we got this couch for our outdoor area. It was very nice. so nice. I feel like our porch just did not look very cute. Um, hey. And we never really came out here and like enjoyed because we have such a beautiful yard and view, but we never really were out here. So we, Kyle like spent all of yesterday organizing and cleaning off <laughs> the porch. Um, and then we bought these like little interlocking wood tiles to put our gym equipment on. So my spin bike is here and then all that recycling will go. But now I feel like it's a lot more cozy. Maybe we'll pull in these chairs and kind of make it a whole seating arrangement. But for now, this is really nice. I also got this really cute chair that I will show you later in the video. All right, here is the other accent chair that I got. It has that, what is this called, boucle texture to it. It's very low to the ground. No idea where we're gonna put this. I was thinking maybe I could use it as an office chair, but now seeing it, I'm like, my desk is gonna be too high to use this as an office chair. But we'll see. <laughs> I feel like you could use it. Oh, I love having the couch out here. It's so cozy. It's currently raining. It just feels so cozy up here, so I thought I would, um, come out here and edit a video. Right before this, I had a call with a girl who's gonna help me with social media for myself, but also for Sunday Matters. So I just had a little onboarding call with her. And yeah, now I'm going to hang out here, edit a video. A package just came in the mail and I'm so excited because I ordered Jackie Hill Perry or Hor I just ordered Jackie Hill I'm really excited because I ordered this devotional by Jackie Hill Perry and it just came in the mail it's a 60 day devotional and I feel like I haven't really found one I resonate with since New Morning Mercies but I feel like Jackie is just super deep um, and 
judging by these like each devotion is like two and a half pages so I feel like it will have like some of them are a little bit longer so I think it's gonna have a lot of like heart and depth in this so it'll be convicting so I'm excited to start doing these um these are my knockoff airpods horrible quality like the I mean the sound is okay but they're literally like the material is super cheap the buttons like all of this is just really bad so you know maybe i should buy some as a business expense some real ones or if you guys have some other suggestions for good headphones that are more affordable than the apple ones let me know let's get edited back from the farmer's market and we stopped at a garage sale they had this Christmas tree Let's see if we can get a better light on it this Christmas tree for $30 $30 brand new never, never used. used and we were just at the store as you guys saw which was sickening and those were like prices. $350 $400 Ridiculous. and this one does look pretty nice like I like how nice. it has the pine cones and it looks Pretty pretty, as long as the lights all work. Yeah, looks realistic. Yeah, it is nice. Just gonna spread them out. Cute. I'm pretty sure we saw this exact one at the store. <laughs> for like 300 bucks. Yeah. Deals. And then we got the suitcase for 20 bucks. I was telling them, last I was one like, as we were talking, they were just awesome local aunties and they were just, just getting rid of stuff. And I was like, well, I just feel like this is the Lord. Because we were looking at trees at the store. And they're like, oh my gosh, they're so expensive. I was like, I know. And then we just I couldn't justify spending it on it. So this is just like the Lord the next day bringing us to this tree. And they're like, oh, amen. God bless you. <laughs> it's just so funny. They were so happy for us. They were. They were stoked for us. They're like, no, God bless you and your beautiful family. Enjoy the Christmas tree. Oh, <laughs> they're nice. super sweet. Now we can go shopping for decorations. Yeah. At garage sales. Wow, this vlog is just jam-packed with exciting stuff. We are about to go surfing, which we haven't gone. I think we've gone once in the last, maybe twice in the last year. Basically since I got pregnant, we stopped going. And I think, yeah, Kyle has maybe gone out once or twice while I was pregnant. So, we're gonna go out with some friends. I haven't surfed. I mean, I'm, we're both very beginner surfers. We are currently, like, looking for a... We are currently looking for a board to buy. We think we found one that we're gonna buy. Why are we throwing underwear at Mom? Because <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we think we found one to buy tomorrow. Oh my gosh. No more. That was a good aim. Thanks. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan for today. I set up the Christmas tree. Well, Kyle thought this would be the best spot for it. I don't, we don't really have anywhere else to put it. I think it's perfect. So it's kind of just like nudged up against the table here i was thinking maybe we could like move the table outwards but i think it would just take up too much of the walkway mm -hmm. but i'm thinking maybe with like a little tree skirt and decorating the table a little bit um why would a tree wear a skirt 
<laughs> that would be a good start of a joke. If you got a good punchline. Um, yeah, so maybe with a little decor on the dining table, it will kind of pull it together, but I wish we could put it over by our like TV stand fireplace area, but there's definitely not enough room without completely blocking. Unless we shorten our couch and make this couch smaller. No. But no. We're he says no. We're gonna regret that. He says no, no, no. Why, why would, it, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna have people over and then it's gonna be like, oh, shucks. Well, yeah. And then where would we put the extra like, I know, I know. It's so just, many it, questions. It doesn't make sense. And so I'm not gonna many answer any unanswered of your questions. questions. I don't even need to entertain the idea because it's not happening. It's not happening. The other option is to put it outside. <laughs> but Kyle says there'll be too many spider webs. So this is literally our only option. Yeah. Oh wait, we could put it in like our office. Like the nursery office. <laughs> that would be like our only other option. Right? Yeah, but I think and then we, the Or purpose. we could move the table out of our home to where we put the table? And put it in storage because it's like flat. So we just take off the Have legs. Have you seen our shed? Um, Go share them, Marcia. I'm just like trying to talk right now, and you just keep <laughs> interrupting me. It's so aggressive. Ah! You got a lot of pent up energy. I have so much energy. Let's go surfing. <laughs> so much energy right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, like I was saying, the only other option is maybe put our table in the storage, and then move the tree into the corner so it's not this kind of feels random right here, but. <sighs> Anyways, that's the plan right now. Before we head out, I just checked the mail and got a package. I thought it was unboxing. I think these are pants. Oh, these are so cute. They're like super lightweight. Matching top to the pants. Oh my god, it's the wrong. 